Hello. I'm getting ready to go into the lagoon over here. Out of the shade. Or I like to sit over here. I have been working on a vehicle. Big Toyota Sequoia. It's a big SUV. And I am hot and tired, so I'm gonna come out here, get in the blue lagoon. Blue and the lagoon full of fish. Look at all these little fish. People are out here on their cell phones talking and it's definitely refreshing. It's definitely nice and cool, and I'm gonna love this. Oh, this is gonna be great. And then I'm gonna just talk with you. So if you wanna join me a little bit, if you wanna listen, nobody's watching right now, but if you want to, I'll go ahead and invite a few few people. Let's see here. Let's see, how can I invite someone? Share. So I shared this uh, live stream with a few of my friends. If you've gotten this, it's because I think highly of you and I like you. Oh, so it's really actually quite hot right now. But the water is cool and I'm looking forward to getting underneath. And it's going to be a shock to the system, I'll tell you that. I have been working on a, like I said earlier, a Toyota Sequoia. And I replaced the universals in the, uh, the drive line and I thank Mr. Stevie Dido for his help thank you Stevie but I'm gonna talk to you here out here you know in this lagoon there's you know, lots of uh, lots of people who are upset that other people are enjoying life and having a good time and some people are on their deathbed while some people are being born while some people are actually already dead and some people are just lingering you know there's no money in the health arena industry business in dead people or healthy people you have to be lingering in the middle you have to be sick and that's how they make money that's how they make money off you here we go ready uh, delightful chilling and uh just perfect. Mm, couldn't wait to get out here and cool off. I was very, very, you know, it was, it was hard work, but I'll tell you, I wasn't upset. I wasn't miserable. I was just, it was hard work and hard work is hard work. And then you feel so satisfied when you get the job done and you test drive the vehicle and it runs good. And one lady messaged me and she said, I didn't know where I was talking to her from, I think Virginia. And she said, I didn't know you were a mechanic. Well, yes, amongst other things, I am definitely a mechanic. That was one of my first career choices. I went through college, a semester of uh, engine machine. So, you know, I know how to rebuild an engine from the ground up. And I've had quite a bit of experience with a lot of different cars, makes and models, but not like a, if I were working at a shop. But lately I've been working on, it seems like, a lot of BMWs. So I'm becoming kind of an expert at BMWs and Toyotas. <sighs> but my real interest is God and people. And people. The thing is about people is Jesus died for people. And if you want to love God, you've got to, you have to be somehow involved with people. Because Jesus died for people. And I need to keep an eye on my keys over here. Just make sure that I'm looking at him. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I got my whole set of keys, BMW keys and stuff. So, when it comes to people, not all people are real nice. And I'll tell you, I I have to admit that, you know, if you're, you're a people, which you are, I highly respect you and I like you. And even if you don't like me and you treat me bad, I still like you because you have a face, you got these eyes, this hair, you know, you resemble a person and I don't care what you look like, but I just think people are beautiful, animals are beautiful, but people are also, you know, I, I just I really like observing people and trying to understand what makes them who they are. And, you 
know, and I like to learn and become a better person myself. I'm going to go under so I can cool off. So I'm in Hawaii, and we have this sailing. Uh, uh, nice cleansing effect here. I'd like to share with you that I've got... Sorry, guys. I'm uh, feeling great, but my uh, nose is running a little bit just because I'm in this cold water. have to watch me clear my face and I try to get grease off my face anyway Aviella is just barely over a year old she's looking out at life and she sees people and she just assumes everyone's good and you know what's interesting is children are so precious so beautiful but we as people are God's children and he looks at us in the same sort of way, but we have more life experience and we have more opportunities to be deceitful. And the Bible says the heart of a man is above all things deceitful, really wicked. And I'm so glad that we have Christ's example because uh, and we have a mark that we can look towards and we can we can study that I'll tell you what don't ever look towards me that's for sure do not ever look towards me I hope that I can be a good example but don't look towards me because you're not gonna be uh, you're gonna be disappointed What about you? You're looking at me, you're watching this video right now, and you're thinking, this guy is, you know, Steve is such a, he's such a dork, he's, he's a con, or he's this or that, and someone gave him the, the boat, and, you know, you shouldn't work with him because, you know, because, yeah, five years ago, ten years ago, uh, his uncle did this, or, his son did this, whatever. His mom did this or that, or his dad did something, or even he did, I did something. Or his wife left him. Or he married someone too young. Or... Well, I feel so privileged and so blessed that people are so interested in, uh, in me being the subject of their day, but you know, I would like to encourage you that Jesus could be the subject of your day. Talk about him and try to be an example to me, you know, be an example to me, be an example, a Christ-like example to me. That would be encouraging. Well, a shout out, hello and aloha and a mahalo. I don't know if this is pagan or not, but I hope not. It really just means, hey, it's hello in the Hawaiian and the, the island life here. Hi, Mom. I wish you were here in this beautiful lagoon. It's so, so nice and cool. Mm. I got uh, Deutschen's vehicle fixed, fixed the drive line. It was shaking, had a bearing out. It's kind of a hard job, but little by little, I had to buy a couple tools and it took all day. It took all, part of the night and then a the whole day. So it's a good long, and it was hot and sunny. And thanks to Deutschen, he found this big umbrella and he held it up for us, which was really great of him. And uh, Stevie helped get some food for us. 
right across the down to earth from where they're at actually down from Manoa is uh, let's go look at Diamond Head here yeah right there down to earth things if they're gonna expire like in by the 8th which is you know over a week from now what they do is um, they mark it down to like 99 cents or 39 cents just really really super cheap So I'm not here in Hawaii just hanging out, having fun, doing nothing. We're actually, I've got people who understand me, who have taken the time to know me. And I've had such an amazing time with Diamond, Garcia, Taj, Apocalypse, Kevin Foster, Renee Lopez, and, uh, Tyler, Paula. Don Sands, the uh, Larson family, Alex, what a blessing he's been, Kathy. I mean, this island has some beautiful people. And Deutsch and his wife are now here. <coughs> and their kids. And we've had a couple awesome sailing trips the first time out. I said, well, we're going in the afternoon. There's usually no dolphins at this time, but let's pray for them. And so we prayed for dolphins. And you know what happened? Not only did we see dolphins, the dolphins saw us. They came rushing to the boat like they wanted to say, see us and say hi and play. And then they started uh, giggling and laughing and making all kinds of noises. And then they started jumping, jumping up in the air and doing twists and stuff. Spinner dolphins, so it's spinning. And then, uh, let's see, Heather... Um, Brownell and I no actually the daughter I forget her name we jumped off into where the dolphins were and swam back around and couldn't have been a better time then we went out on Captain Matt's big huge boat 65 foot uh, custom built yacht incredible experience and uh, all our friends from Australia are here the daughter yeah, they're, they're uh, having kind of a hard time. They're mostly about business. And she had a bike accident. Haven't been able to interact with her much. So, anyway, um, it's a little report on me, a little info, information. And we're, we're having, you know, a little bit of a hard time, but God's, he's always there for us. And I have to have faith, and, you know, in the work when you really work for the Lord and you're just trying to do the right thing it's really interesting you have to have a lot of faith in circumstances that are outside of your control because certainly right now we're having some challenges one of them is I'm just looking for a young man that can join me over here and help me why wouldn't you want to be here in Hawaii? I mean, you're busy doing other stuff. I think it's not that someone's not interested. It's just that not everybody knows. Not enough people know. So if you're a, a young man who's interested, even if this is an old video, I always have opportunities as I travel around. Um, and uh, I remember when I was a young kid, a young teen, or, you know, in my teens, out of, and I did. I did meet people, young, uh, older men, and people my age in their, you know, forties and fifties who were really inspiration to me. And I like to be an inspiration. I mean, Jesus is our true inspiration, but I like to be a good influence, and I have been. And every every once in a while, a young young man or a man my age, even sometimes, they contact me and they're like, Stephen, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I was, and that really encourages me. So, um, there's a couple, some young men. There's one young man here on the island that came and spent several hours with me. I'm hoping he'll come back. <coughs> anyway, God bless you all. I'm gonna say goodbye. My phone is getting low, and is there anyone even watching? No, no one's even watching, so. 
God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find it here.